Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'm a professional photographer and educator, and I want to talk to you about the importance of accurate color control for photographers. Now, if you really do take pride in mastering your craft, you are going to also think that this is an important uh, part of the craft. Now, Data Color has a Spider X Capture Pro kit that will look after you in this department. It uh, consists of the Spider Checker, the Spider uh, Elite, and also the Spider Cube. And they also throw in a bonus product there, which is the Spider Lens Cal. Now, this isn't specifically about color, but it's also another way of controlling another thing dear to the heart of many photographers, and that is sharpness. Okay, so let's uh, first take a look at why we should trust in our color. Okay, first off, I would probably uh, recommend that you do invest in a good quality premium color monitor, such as the ones you can get from ASO or BenQ, something with an Adobe RGB color gamut and 10-bit color depth. Now, really the importance of calibrating and profiling that accurate monitor uh, is very important because if you start editing colors uh, just because they don't look quite right on your monitor, are you editing them because the monitor is out of whack or the colors of the file are out of whack? So it's very important to start from a point where you actually trust the colors that you're actually looking at. And this is where the Spider X Elite uh, takes control of that. It does give you peace of mind when we're editing color. Now another part of the aspect uh, on location or in the studio when we're capturing is setting an accurate white balance. We can do that in post-production or we can create a custom white balance in camera. You might be using something like a white balance reference card or gray card for that purpose. But perhaps an even better product for that is the Spider Cube. It gives you so much more information than just a neutral tone. What we have here on the Spider Cube is a reference for the specular highlights, uh, the 18% gray value, which is your gray card value, but also highlight and shadow information in that 90% white tone, and also um, a light trap, which allows us to set the black point of our images. So that when we take a file that has been captured of the spider cube into our uh, post-production editing program, such as Lightroom, we do have significantly more information other than white balance. Now another uh, big part uh, or important part of this kit is the Spider Checker. Uh, now if you're looking at different brands of camera such as Fuji, Nikon, Panasonic, Sony etc. You probably already realize they have different uh, characteristics of color and some photographers lean to owning one brand over another just because of the color rendition. But um, this shouldn't be that important to you because if we use a product such as Spider Checker, we can make the colors of all of these cameras consistent or uniform across different brands. That is because we measure the characteristics of the camera and then make sure that that color that we're editing is absolutely accurate via a preset. Now, uh, once we've got those presets in place, we can pick them up anytime and rest assured with a color calibrated and profiled monitor. And basically we've just uh, profiled the camera as well. We know we're looking at absolute accuracy, which is sometimes important if we're dealing with uh, colors that are very important to our clients and maybe um, the color of a wedding dress or the signature color of a brand becomes all too important in that instance. Now rather than having to apply it each and every time to every image that we're editing, we can actually override the Adobe default and create a new develop default that uh, basically uh, picks up the information from the camera, corrects all of the colors on the fly, so we start editing without doing anything um, from a, a position of trust. Now we can also apply that preset when we're importing our files as well. Now the great thing about the spider checker for creating presets and measuring the color characteristics of our capture devices is that we can also measure the color characteristics characteristics when we're shooting movies with our interchangeable lens cameras. We just grab a frame from the movie and then create a preset uh, like that just as we would from a still image.
Now, as I said, that bonus product, if you like, which is not so much to do with color, but with sharpness, is the Spider Lens Cal. This is really important if we're using um, either DSLRs or mirrorless cameras where the focus is in the lens adapter, such as if I'm putting um, A-mount uh, lenses on my E-mount camera, the focus of the LAEA4 adapter is actually in the adapter itself. Now, if we're just trusting that this is going to be accurate, then we're placing too much trust in the manufacturers at this point, because when I measured my own uh, camera and uh, adapter, I found that it was forward focusing. So this uh, uh, lens cal allowed me to uh, measure that inaccuracy and then using the firmware feature inside my Sony camera I pushed the focus back and so now especially when I'm doing macro or I'm shooting with my f1.4 lenses I have absolute confidence the focus is exactly where it needs to be check out um, that kit from Data Color. You also head over to my website markgaylor.com. I've got a lot of learning resources which are free to download and I'll catch you online next time. Just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, head over to my website and I'll catch you online next time.